Um, shortcut the particle flow is six on your keyboard. You can hit that, and it brings up your um, your interface. Again, no more shortcuts for me. We'll do it. Uh, particle systems. Uh, P flow source. Particle flow source. Drag that out. And um, you can just particle view it. And basically, I like to start from scratch. Um, you can do it whatever way you want. I don't know what level the viewers are with this kind of stuff. Each one will have its own level, his or her own level. So um, I usually keep this on the right screen again because it eats up a lot of. Uh, oh, not preset. Empty. Birth. Right now we'll set the birth to zero zero amount. We'll set that to two. Also, uh, what you want to do is grab this, the actual emitter. Well, the right now the icon, and set that to a hundred percent so you can see exactly what's going on. And we will create another plane. Damn it. I've created all this in my scene extras so far. P flow source. We'll cut and we'll put it in our P flow thing. Make sure this is checked so we're working in that. We will create another plane. This plane will represent where we want all the particles to spawn from. Uh, we'll say a, a thousand. A thousand. And we can just zero that out. And we will raise it up. And we will make it see through. Alt X. What I want to do is I want to see. See where the um, the pivot point is for my Kiwi Bot particle. I want to make the plane about that height because if they're going to spawn there, it's going to come right in on that uh, pivot point. So okay, if I say, uh, oh, we'll lower this to 500. Now we'll tell the P flow to um, its birth, right? Okay, we'll say we want it to spawn on object, position object, object by list. We'll do a plane four which is our, actually we should rename that, we'll call it a particle emitter. Again, if I spell things wrong, I'm sorry, I'm retarded. It's part of it, you'll deal with it. Imagine what it's like being me, I'm always taunted, made fun of. People throw rocks at me. Okay, so that's our, uh, our thing now we know that we're gonna spawn two particles in the duration of zero frames which means they should be instant and we know that they're gonna be on our particle emitter okay so we see the two particles here and <clears throat> we will put in a shape instance shape instance and we will select our uh, kiwi particle and so we can see it we will switch it to geometry see now we have two of them which is fine and uh, we're going to go ahead and hide this guy uh, yeah we'll hide him 
so now we have our particles and that's all we have so far now these are just standing still they don't know what else to do I haven't designated anything so in shape instance we'll make sure to click animated shape turn that on and you'll see as soon as they spawn they start animating oh sheesh what did I forget to do uh, okay unhide by name kiwi particle uh, we might not be able to do an out of range types here where are you I always forget what that icon looks like curves Oh, uh, well, anyway, we'll, um, we'll just do it the long way. It's still quick. You know what I heard? We'll do it the long way. I heard the people sigh. make it that long 320 now we can go ahead and hide that guy again close this okay so our guys are walking like that um, to offset that let's see okay their animation right now is going the same time the same rate the same everything also, I want to make sure that the emitter plane is object properties. You want to make sure that that's unchecked. You don't want it to be renderable. You just want it to emit and not be seen. 